Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're in the 335 and my brother is pulling up behind me in the 330i. We're going down to Bavarian Auto Works. I don't know if you guys know what that place is, but basically um, they specialize in BMW. They specialize in German cars. I think they're a little shop. They're not like too well known. But, uh, you know, as long as they know what they're doing BMWs, that's that's better for me. Because all the mechanics over here, they don't know anything about anything we're doing. So you guys are probably wondering why we're going down there. It's about a three-hour drive. We're taking both cars because I have to drop off my 330. And then on the way back, we'll take the 335, of course. The 330i is finally getting a tranny swap. Tranny's been really lagging on me. It's It's been jerking. I'll show you guys clips right now of yesterday, what I recorded for you guys. Uh, a solenoid failure or a Megatronics failure is when you put your car in drive, and this is a good thing to check when you guys are actually uh, trying to purchase an E90. So right now it's in drive. You wanna go ahead, throw it in sport, put it up in first. It's gonna be already in first. Um, if you have paddles, you can just go ahead and click the plus button. If you don't, uh, then go ahead and click this, pull it down to drive. I'm gonna go ahead and use the paddles for the sake of the video. So I'm gonna go upshift. And when I upshift, I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't know if it's that noticeable downshift. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Upshift. You see how my camera's shaking? Let me try one more time right here. Upshift. Camera shakes a little bit because I'm moving. The, the car jerks. Pretty much, this this always happened. When I had the car at 50,000 miles, imagine at 50,000 miles, this car started having that issue and it was jerking. You know, people just people on the forums are saying, just replace your oil pan, I mean your transmission pan, your transmission fluids, you should be good to go. I was like, all right, new pan, new fluids, check. New gasket, check. $300 later, nothing. I did it all myself. Um, seal, the fluids are sealed, everything was good to go. There shouldn't be any issues. And um, yeah, that did not fix my problem. A little bit more research, I called a couple more shops. They told me that my solenoids are sick. There's about like five or six solenoids, I believe there's six. And each one controls a gear or uh, whatever, like you know, the, the gears, the first or second gear. And uh, I think you're reverse. I don't know if that's a separate solenoid. But yeah, basically that, that is my problem. So, uh, so after actually replacing the fluids, six months later after replacing the fluids, my car starts to jerk. I mean, not, not trying to jerk, it starts to slip around fifth, uh, when it goes from fourth to fifth. Uh, and if I if I try to floor it on fifth, it would just it would just lose, it would just slip. Oh, I didn't want to do it right then. I guess it sometimes does it. We're gonna try it one more time. All right, see how I floored it? I was shifting up gears, I floored it. There goes the transmission light. And now I'm in lit mode pretty much. So uh, I don't think it'll pass 3000 RPMs. So the way to fix this guys, I literally just go off to the side of the road. If this ever happens, I would learn to just skip fifth gear or let off the gas before I shift. But basically, I would just put the car in drive. You guys see the transmission light. Um, it would just say, you know, vehicle having reduced acceleration, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'll go ahead and turn off the car. Take out my keys so everything goes away. Put in my keys, start it back up. Transmission light is there but it was just gonna go away instantly. And as you guys can see, no lights on the dash. I'm gonna go ahead and go on my BC button just to make sure, check controls, check okay. There's literally no issues. The light just goes away. Um, it's 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 really weird. So as you guys can see from yesterday, it lags. Like it, it jerks from first to second gear. It slips from fourth to fifth. The training's really messed up. I have a trainee waiting for me at the shop right now, so. You know that, that you guys will ask me questions. What about what are you gonna do with that hundred and fifty dollar BMW? Well, I ended up taking the training from it, and uh, we're, we already it's already at the shop. And basically, I'm just gonna take my three thirty i down there. They're gonna do the training swap. Um, we're gonna see how that works out. So for those of you guys who are wondering, you know, my transmission has all these issues. Can you just swap it? Does it need coating? Um, well. Let's see if it does need all that. But yeah, we're gonna see if it even needs coating. He says it should be just a swap, but if it needs coating, we can do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a good thing about why I took it there. So peace of mind, everything should work out. Uh, might I say this transmission, I have no, I don't know anything about it. So I'm kind of going in this like 50% blind. All I remember is when we got the car, it went into gear. So I mean, that's, I mean, at least it goes into gear, but that's all we know about the transmission. It has only like, I believe 110,000 miles on it. So it's really not that bad. But anyway, Anyways, uh, me and my brother are heading out of the gas station right now because two BMW is three hour drive. It's giving me a lot of money on gas. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up at Costco and uh, just save a little bit at least because this is gonna be one hell of a journey. All 
right guys, about 40 bucks later on this car and about 40 bucks later on the other car. We're good to go. I'm just waiting for my brother to leave. He's almost done. And then we're gonna head over to Bavarian Auto Works. Again, um, kind of anxious because, you know, we're kind of going a long trip. We're, going, we're paying a lot of, well, not paying a lot. They give us a really good deal. But, you know, um, money is money and time is time. So we're spending a lot of that. And uh, hopefully everything works out at the end of the day. If that train ends up coming back bad, you know, we're going to have to pay for him to install my original one back. And it just, it's just going to be a mess. And it's just... Ah, it's really stressful, but you do what you can and uh, you just pray. All right, I'm gonna set up the coordinates on my phone and uh, I think my brother's almost ready. I gotta figure out what Pavilion Auto Works is. Let's see here. Nope, none of these. I'm gonna have to find it. Probably what a lot of BMWs are, that's what I'm assuming. But uh, once I find it, I'll show you guys where that's at. All right guys, so 200 miles later, both my BMWs are here, which I'm very proud about. You know, actually seeing both of these cars make it 200 miles with no issues, of course, just a lot of gas guzzling cars. But yeah, 335 performed great. And actually the temperature stayed around 200 the entire trip, not even 230, which is about average. So that's pretty good. Two, uh, the 335 is cooling just well. Um, obviously my brother's car, I mean my other car, uh, it did pretty well. It made it all the way over here too uh, with training issues. So hopefully when we get this new training, have, everything should be sorted. Um, we're gonna drop it off. We have to drive again 200 miles back. Uh, it's worth taking the trip because I wanna make sure the right people are working on my car, not some random people that don't even know how to deal with BMW transmissions because of the coating. Yeah, so right now we're just waiting for him to get here. He's like coming shortly after us. I don't know if they're closed today and he's just coming in to help us out, but uh, we'll see when he gets here. All right, guys, I think that's Drew. I'll catch you guys after I'm done talking with him. All right, we're here, guys. Drew just helped me out checking out my car. He's uh, just making sure everything is Gucci <laughs> for the most part. I'm also seeing if he can also fix the CCC. If not, it's whatever, but uh, yeah, I'm, drop I'm gonna pretty much drop off the car. I don't wanna like, you know, get in there too much, but they have a lot of BMWs. I think they have an M3, multiple E90s, like probably, well actually, that's the $150 BMW right there. <laughs> that's the one that we ended up selling to them. So you guys are wondering where the $150 BMW went? Um, it's right there. So uh, long story short, that's where it ended up. They ended up getting it from us, um, and I just told them since they, got bring, they brought it over here, I just need the training from this one, and then we should be good to go. But yeah, here's the car. I don't know if the engine's still, the engine's still in it. <sighs> I mean, it was a pretty decent car, guys, but I mean, at the same time, if you guys look at the quarter panel back there, it wasn't really worth the repair, and uh, you clearly see they made good use out of the doors. Drew's gonna try his best to actually get the tranny to work on this car, so we're gonna drop it off. He's actually just trying to start that really old car. I have no idea what that is. But yeah, BMW's right there. I think that's a 330. I think that's just a regular E46. I don't think that's an M3. Uh, another 325 right there, and then here's the monsters in the garage. Oh shoot! So we got a 335 right there. I think this stuff is still um, what's it called? Stock turbos. I believe that one's still. I don't know if that one's stock. He hasn't told me anything about that one. But this sounds like a monster, and that's another reason why I love 335s. It's so much potential. I love it. Yeah, he's got the car started. Anyways, good news. He's gonna be able to work on it, and uh, we're gonna go out and eat. So I'll catch you guys later. Anyways, it's freezing cold. We're gonna try to see if we can do some things down here. We're already like almost three hours away from the house and traffic's about to hit. So we'll see if we'll do something. Uh, but of course, we're gonna go get something to eat right now. It's about one and we haven't eaten anything. You better be pretty hungry, right? Yeah, I'm starving. But how's the drive? That was fine. I mean, it's fine? My booty hurts, but it's fine. I was so tired. I was about to like sleep on the wheel. Dude, like straight, the thing is it's so boring. When there's like, there's nothing on the roads, you get bored, you know? Like you gotta, there has to be stuff that entertains you. When I'm going to like San Francisco or like I'm going out to Lake Tahoe, just the roads itself entertain you. Wow, billboard sign. Bill, yeah, exactly, it's like billboard sign. Oh, like a, like a sewer plant. Oh, I know. It's like, oh, damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll probably go to In-N-Out. Put something like In-N-Out or something like that on the GPS. 
she got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.